So because this cancer grows so quickly, it is important that we start treatment very quickly. And and that we stay on the schedule if we can. The standard treatment is chemotherapy with carboplatin or cisplatin and a toposide. And that chemotherapy will work fairly quickly. People will feel better uh, very quickly and reliable. But with chemotherapy alone, the benefit is very temporary. and Those cancers will grow right back. It's now standard to include immunotherapy with chemotherapy. And this is the important part because for some patients, the immunotherapy will help keep that cancer away and allow us for more durable responses and durable control. So the initial treatment in the US really is chemotherapy with immunotherapy. Recently, the FDA approved uh, what we call maintenance chemotherapy. And so after the first chemotherapy given with immunotherapy, we then continue the immunotherapy and add a different chemotherapy agent. And that was shown to further extend survival. We really want to prevent progression, really stop that cancer from growing um, or causing any other symptoms or issues. We do, however, want more durable responses for more of our patients. And while we can achieve long-term survival for a subset of patients, we still need better outcomes. And this is why it's very um, uh, important that if clinical trials are available, for any type of newer therapy, that is something we really should consider because our current treatments aren't nearly good enough. There are newer immune type therapies that can offer more durable responses and we're using these if the cancer finds some way to grow or to come back, uh, but the treatment is very rapidly changing with a lot of uh, very exciting new drugs being developed. You know, in a disease where we have a very high chance of cure, then trials are probably less important. But in a disease like lung cancer, which is the most lethal cancer in the U.S. by far, in a disease like small cell lung cancer, where the chance of long-term survival is very small, the standard approved treatment is not very good. And we really want the opportunity for something better. What's important to remember about clinical trials is they're very different from how they were 30 years ago. 30 years ago, we were trying medicines that we really had no idea whether they would work or not. But nowadays, medicines are rationally designed using synthetic biology, using chemistry and artificial intelligence. We can make drugs designed to serve a very specific function. And so when we have new drugs today, even before they're given to the first patient, I may have a very good idea of how well they will work and, and what those side effects will be. And so I think there's uh, a lot better science now, and the drugs we're trying, even if they're brand new, are better designed drugs, much more likely to work. There are lots of different types of trials, and some trials have a randomization to a, a placebo a, or, or a drug that won't really work particularly well, but most of the time we don't see that. Most of the time patients are still receiving at least the standard treatment um, with the opportunity to also receive something better. So in a setting like lung cancer, where the standard outcomes are not good enough, clinical trials are ways to get medicines that are very promising, that we think will change the future, and you can get them years before they're available to the public. Well, I think that one of the big barriers is the thought that clinical trials are gonna um, be some sort of an experimental medicine with no help of benefit. And that's just not what trials are now. These are medicines that we believe in. And for me to open a trial, it takes quite a bit of cost and effort. And I will only do that if it's a drug that I believe in, if it's a drug that I think will be better than the standard treatment. So most trials that come across my desk, I never open. It's really the trials that I think I've promised to change the future that we will open. And when we look at our current standard of chemotherapy and immunotherapy, that was available only in a clinical trial six or seven years ago. Um, and so this is how the, the field moves forward and how we get access to newer medicines. And the medicines you see today have been in trials for the past five or 10 years. Uh, one of the big barriers to enrollment when we go into a trial, all of the new medicines, everything involved in the trial is provided at no cost. And so there's not a financial benefit. The real cost is time. 
because the trial is something new, we have to watch people a little bit more closely because the number one priority is safety. And so it may require extra visits to the cancer center, extra blood tests, or longer days. And so the real cost is time. And one of the barriers for some patients is transportation, is sort of getting here more frequently, especially for older patients. And so it's good to have a support network, whether it's family or friends or colleagues who can help provide rides. A lot of times the research trial will reimburse for parking and mileage and transportation. But one of the big barriers is really just getting here. You know, this is tough. And I think uh, a lot of it has to do with the comfort and trust in the doctor. And if a patient is seeing a doctor that they don't really trust or don't really have a good connection with, they might need to find another doctor. I think that relationship is very important. But also it's about how we talk about clinical trials. And some people might think that they're only being offered a trial because um, they, they don't speak the language, because uh, maybe they don't have as much literacy. But in reality, our patients that are the most educated, that have the most resources, come to our center for the trial. They come here because they want the trial. And so we don't think of the trial as sort of the worst treatment. The trial really is the best treatment. Um, and it really takes a lot of effort to open it to run these studies. Um, but we do think that they're worth it.